Welcome back. We made it. This is day 30. This is the last day of 30 days of prayer for our children. And I'm getting a little emotional because obviously this is not the end of us praying for our children. But this prayer, this particular prayer is my favorite, I think, of all of them. It's that our children would be salt and light. And the reason that it is my favorite is because it brings me the most comfort. Because I will be honest with you, I am sometimes, I look at the news headlines, I look at the world around me. Just this morning, I was reading about kids' YouTube and messages that people place in these YouTube videos for children that are very disturbing. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid sometimes for my kids. I look at their future and it looks scary and even sometimes hopeless. And that's not biblical. That goes against God. God has not given us a spirit of fear. He's given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Christ is victorious. He has overcome the world already. He's not going to overcome the world when he returns again. He's already overcome the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. That's biblical. I can't tell you where it's from, but you can look it up. <laughs> so this is my favorite prayer. And that's why we're ending with this. Because as the world gets, we know based on scripture that the world is going to get darker toward the end, in the end times. And it's going to appear like things are getting hopeless. But the reality is that as the world gets increasingly dark, that the light of believers is going to shine all the more brightly. Just picture being in a dark room and your kids holding little flashlights. Um, they're going to be bright. They're going to be seen. They're going to be beacons. People are going to be drawn to those lights in the darkness. When it's bright day out and they're carrying flashlights around, you can't even really see them. And that's the picture I have. As, as the world dims over time and we see things getting increasingly or at least appearing to us to be getting increasingly wor worse, our kids are carrying the light of Christ in them. And when they carry the light of Christ in them, that light is going to shine all the more brightly. It's not going to go out. The darkness can't put out the light. It only accentuates the light. So that picture to me, the world can't touch our kids as long as they're carrying the light of Christ in them. So I want to read this from Matthew 5, 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. That's Matthew 5, 13 to 16. So we don't need to huddle around our kids and hold them close because we're afraid because that's like putting their light under a bushel. That's like keeping them under a bowl so their light can't be out there for the world to see. We need to trust them like we did yesterday where we just, I, as I was praying, you couldn't see me because I was, I had my video stopped, but my hands were up. I was holding holding my kids up to God, saying, God, we give you our children. And when we do that and when we trust him with our kids, that is when their light can shine the most brightly. So I want that to encourage you today as it encourages me for you to, to let go of any fear that you have no matter where your child is now, no matter what they're going through, we're placing them in God's hands. And there's, there's no fear in that. There's only light. So let's pray that our children would be salt and light 
in an increasingly bland and tasteless and dark world. Because that is how people are going to be drawn to God in these, in these trying times, in these last days. There's a lot of beauty left in this world. And a lot of that beauty is coming from our kids and will come from them. So let's pray. Father, we confess to you that sometimes we look around us at this ever darkening world and feel powerless and even hopeless and even despair for the future that awaits our children. God, forgive us for forgetting who you are. You're the God that parted the Red Sea. You're the God that created the universe. You raise up kings and you tear down nations. There is no one like you. There's no force in this universe that could even hold a candle to you and your power. You are sovereign. Your plans will stand from generation to generation. Father, we just thank you for that and we praise you for who you are to us and who you are to our children. God, we just pray right now as we once again just lift them up to you, committing them to you, placing them in your care. And we just ask that you would make them salt and light in this world that is tasteless and bland and increasingly dark so that they may stand out as a beacon of hope that they would draw others to the light that is seen in them. That your Holy Spirit would overflow and just pour out of them in an almost tangible way that would affect those around them, bringing beauty and light and good. That the fruit of the Spirit would be produced in increasing measure in them, God, and that that would also stand out. God, we just pray that you'll help us to shepherd them toward that, that we ourselves would be salt and light when so often I know that I tend to want to fade into the background, not cause any trouble or conflict or not be different or looked at in any way. God, we just pray that we would be an example. And we pray that they would never be afraid to be different, that they would never be ashamed of who they are, that they would take pride in their identity in Christ, and that they would be beacons of hope to summon home the lost sheep that you so desperately want to be safely in your fold, God. Father, unleash your power and your love in our children mobilize them to do incredible things for your glory and for your kingdom. And Father, we hold them out to you with open hands, knowing that you will do immeasurably more in them and for them and through them than we could ever ask or imagine according to your power at work in their lives. In the powerful name of Jesus, amen.